Hello and welcome to Evaluate This. I'm Andrew Fryer and in this short screencast I want to show you file classification in Windows Server 2012. I'm on a Windows 8 machine here signed in as Alice and if I go into File Manager we can see that I've got a file server and a share up here, Server 1 Corp Data, and I've got a couple of documents in here. And one of these, my test classification document, clearly states inside it that this document is top secret and should only be read from a domain joined Windows 8 machine, which is fine because that's what I'm on. But the trouble is, if I do the same thing from Windows XP machine, here's that document. And XP is inherently less safe than Windows 8 is, so I really want to stop this from happening. The question is how? If I go onto that file server and go into my shares, we can see that document. And if I have a look at its properties, there's a classification section here and the computer OS is set to nothing. And the way I've got dynamic access control set up is that the rule will only work if there is a value in here to evaluate against. And as it's set to nothing, then it's going to be OK to access from any old computer. If you want to see how to set up dynamic access control, please have a look at the link below where I've made a screencast about that. But the problem I've got here is that I don't really want to go through and tag every one of these files and look in, open them up and see that they've got the word top secret in and then maybe set that the computer OS ought to be Windows 8 Enterprise. I need a better way to crack this nut. And that is to use the file service resource manager. If I open up server manager here for this particular server, you can see that I've installed the file server resource manager. Now that was around in 2008 R2, but in server 2012, like so many other things, it's had a bit of a boost. And here it is. And notice now we've got something called classification management sitting under here and something called classification rules. And probably the easiest way to show you how this all works is to create a classification rule. I'm going to call it top secret. It's enabled by default. What's its scope? Well, I'm going to enable it on all these files and I'm going to add in a specific set of folders. In other words, my corp data share. And then I'm going to go for a content classifier as opposed to a folder classifier. Notice here I can see the things that DAC has set up for me as per my previous video. So I can choose to set the computer OS to country or department. I'm choosing computer OS and I want to specify the value Windows 8 Enterprise. And now I can set up a rule to do that. And you can see that I've got regexes in here. I'm just going for something really simple, a string. And the expression will simply be top secret. Notice that I also can get hold of a filter pack and other iFilters to install on this machine should I wish to classify other kinds of files like PowerPoint decks, um, AutoCAD drawings, PDF documents and so on. So I just hit OK here. And then what I can also do here is reevaluate the existing property type so I can overwrite what's already there. So my classification rule is going to win. I hit OK. And there's my new rule. What I can do now is I can run my classification with all rules. I'll run it interactively so it'll wait for it to complete. And we get a nice report telling us what it's done. And down here, it's found one file. And indeed, it's found my test classification RTF document. The rule is top secret, and I can see exactly what it's done. And if I go back into my classification properties now for that file, we can see that computer OS has indeed been set to Windows 8 Enterprise. And if I go back to my Windows XP machine, go up a level, down a level, we can see that that folder is now empty. So the file appears to have gone. So that's a quick introduction to setting up classification rules in Windows Server 2012 in the file server resource manager role service. If you want to try this for yourself, you'll need a copy of Windows Server 2012 Evaluation Edition, and the link for that is below. I've been Andrew Fryer. Thank you very much for listening.